how you going? Friends and relatives. Uh, I am really short on time because I'm about to go to Japan in like two days, but the shit don't stop. I'm gonna have videos, including this one, to bring to you while I'm on holiday. So I didn't really have anything to review, so I was like, I gotta put up something. So I'm doing this little retro review of One Hot Minute by the Red Hot Chili Peppers because this album is a really overlooked, underrated album because the guitarist Dave Navarro took the place of John Frusciante uh, because he sort of uh, went, went down another path uh, for a little while and did his own thing. Um, but yeah, like people just like don't like his style and stuff and they're like, oh no, they changed it. The album's like metal or something. And it actually completely isn't. It's an amazing funk album with jam after jam. And I actually think Dave Navarro did a fantastic job of blending into the band. It's, um, yeah, he, he took on a funk role and you can hear it's a different guitarist, but like, John Frusciante is not the original guy anyway. That was Hillel Slovak. But I implore you to listen to this album. It's fantastic. It really has this overall theme of, like, just brotherhood and looking after each other and your friends. And also, because it came out in 1995, after Kurt Cobain's death, there's a really touching tribute to Kurt Cobain called Tear Jerker um, that... Uh, yeah, is one of the highlights of the album. Um, so I think if you're a Red Hot Chili Peppers fan on any level, I highly recommend you listen to this thing because I consider it one of their best. You got nothing to lose, really. Like, who knows? You, you still might not like it, but I think it's awesome and you should definitely listen to it. Um, so... I'm not really gonna, I'm not gonna give any ratings because I basically consider everything on this five stars, but if I danced to it, it'd look like this. And like I just said, it's five stars. Uh, look after yourself, talk to your parents, have a great time, all the time. See ya.